Hey guys. All right, so I'm just going to um, do a quick video here on some um, hacks for your wardrobe. So if you haven't, um, you know, ramped it up and bought, you know, a couple different kinds of pieces, if you're just set on one thing, um, I have some little short little tips um, to get you out of your comfort zone. I had to because I was just buying like the same things over and over again or ordering the same things for myself. And um, you kind of just got kind of to step out and try something different. So the first is, this is a curly. It's a size small. Um, recently found that an extra small actually fits just a little bit better for me. Um, if I want to do, if I want to tie it, if I want to wear it out like this. If I just want to wear a curly out without tying it up, which typically I do tie it up. Um, but if I don't want to, an extra small actually works a little bit better for me. But since I'm doing the hacks, I'm going to use a small. This is a small Sarah. So this is the um, the long cardigan with the pockets. I'm just gonna show you um, a recent hack that I saw um, with these wearing them up. So I am 5'5", five five, um, and the Sarah, sorry, I keep rolling this up. The Sarah hits just below my knees. Um, so it does cover my Carly completely. And for me, when I wear the Sarah over the Carly, it almost makes it feel um, a little bit more snug. So typically if I wear a bigger size Carly, then it feels kind of like, and I feel bigger than I really am. But if you wear a Sarah over it, I feel like it kind of um, gets you a little bit tighter. So the first thing you're gonna do is take both of your sides and you're gonna tie them in the back. And I did a double knot back here. So you just tie it two times to get it a little snug, just like that. Then you take the leftover fabric and fold that over. And then you can kind of position it however you want. Now I have a cassie underneath my Carly, um, so it's a little bit um, more fabric than would typically be there. But then you kind of get this little, um, and like I said, you can kind of play with it and make it um, however loose or tight. Um, but it kind of almost gives you like a, like one of those waist trainer feelings. Like it kind of holds everything in, but it, then it's shorter and then you've got your little pockets. This is ideal for the movies. So, um, but the other thing that I was thinking is if you do it even just a little bit, like kind of tuck this extra piece over here, you can actually put your baby in here. So if you've got a little, a little one and you go to the movies or you go somewhere and you forgot your carrier, your baby can legit fit inside here. And then their little legs go on each side and then you've got a little carrier. Now I don't suggest bending over <laughs> with the baby, but it's actually pretty cute. And then this gives you, and you know what I also thought was dirty wear jeans. If you put jeans on and then you have your Sarah, but you don't want it to be dragging or it's raining or whatever, you just want to kind of change it up. You can also wear this over top. And then it gives you like a little, like a little, um, I'm trying to think of like, just like a little cover up, but you don't have it so long. Cause I know a lot of people don't like the Sarahs because they're, they're long like that and they're afraid that they're gonna be too short or whatever. So that's just one of the hacks for the Sarah. And now I'm trying to let myself out of this straight jacket. Maybe that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> then, um, okay, so you let that go. The other thing I've seen people do is tie it up like this in the front, right at the little corner and then you've kind of made it a little bit shorter here. So you can do that. I think I have something on my bone. Okay. So you can do it that way too and just kind of tie it up and that just gives it a little fun thing. Um, you can do it on only one side or you can do it on both sides, what have you. So that's the Sarah hack, which I thought was so cool because I live in Florida and it's really hot here. And so sometimes I don't, I feel hotter if this is just hanging all the way down. So if you kind of tie this up a little bit, it makes like a cool little, um, little, you know, like center there, which I loved. The other piece you can kind of throw over this, which again, I live in Florida, so the joy is a go-to for me because it's short sleeves. <clears throat> but you can also wear this over top of your Carly. Again, if you're gonna wear your Carly flat, you can put a joy over top and it almost kind of slims it out so it doesn't feel so bulky. And if you put some heels on, then you can do it that way as well. The Joy also has a twist hack to it. Um, I've seen some people do it this way and then tie these underneath like this. Let me try to get around it. I should have got an assistant. I'm only gonna tie it once so I don't get stuck again. And then you push that over top 
And then there you've got this cute little like vest and then the back still hangs, but I've got a mirror over here just to make sure that everything looks okay. But then you make yourself like a little vest in front. Again, holds the waist in. And here again, you've got something to hold the baby in. So if you double knot it, your little, his little legs or her little legs can fit right through here. And then you've got a little baby holder and it's not that bulky baby thing. Again, I wouldn't suggest going running or something like that with the baby inside, but it's just cute. You don't have to pull out this big bulky thing. You kind of got your clothes on already. So that's the joy. Okay. And then, like I said earlier, I've got a Cassie on underneath this. The first thing I'm going to do is the Carly um, wrap dress wrap. Let me get my little hair tie here. Okay. So I've seen these done a couple different ways. Um, I like this one the best. So there is a seam here on the on both sides, obviously, of your dress. <clears throat> so depending on if you're left-handed, right-handed, you can do whichever side you'd like. So you pull it all the way out. I usually try to tuck it right under here. And I like to wear the, the um, cinched part right at my natural waist, which is the thinnest part of your body. So I tend to push it down underneath the side of my, my uh, little lady lumps there. And then you want to reach underneath, right where you've reached, put your corner. Sorry, I don't know if you can see. Right where you've put your corner right here, kind of hold that there. Reach underneath. The tag to my Cassie is there. And then kind of hold that. Oops, sorry. Kind of hold that in place. And then you'll take your hair tie. You can use a rubber band, a hair tie, whatever you've got that'll hold that in place. And so you just make a little knot. And then what I noticed earlier when I was doing this was that this one, if you've got a little bit more pattern, you can't really tell. But in this one, it's not very much pattern. It's just that tie dye. So you, you'll want to take this part that's kind of hanging below this part. And if you'll just reach up and tuck that up a little bit, then this fabric hangs a little bit lower. Like I said, I had a Cassie on underneath here. <clears throat> and then you just fix this part however you want it to fit. So let's say you're out with the kids, whatever, and you wanna change into something a little bit nicer, maybe. Um, you could take your flip-flops on, take them off, put on some higher high heel shoes, and then tie your dress up. And then you've got, sorry, I have, a, I have a large romp, so. You just kinda tie it to the side, and then you've got yourself a little wrap dress, so it's a little bit more um, formal, I guess you could say. It's not as casual. And again, you'll just want to play with this part to kind of make it fit you. The good thing about LuLaRoe is anybody can wear it, so it doesn't matter how big or small your top or bottom is. You can kind of fit the dress to make it for you. So then you've got yourself a cute little wrap dress and throw on some wedges and you're good to go. So the next one is going to be the Cassie. So you can still keep your dress wrapped like this. Take your Cassie. Pull, I had it pulled up so you couldn't see it that much but you can wear it as high or as low as you want I have mine right here at my natural waist because I like it a little bit right above my knees but you can keep your wrap dress how you had it take the corner not almost the corner but kind of right here up here and you can kind of tuck it in to your Cassie again you'll just want to play with it but it almost not a peplum but it almost makes a little like waterfall here and you can keep it like that or we'll reach up here and untie this okay and then you just go and make your normal carly knot which is the infamous i do this a lot when i wear my leggings i'll just wear a carly and i knot it up to the side and i put some leggings on now i usually take the material and bunch it here and then you've got that so a lot of people do it this way because again the carly is very form-fitting i'm sorry the cassie i apologize is a little bit more form-fitting some people don't like that so they're not comfortable but you can throw you can still have a nice print cassie and then throw a carly dress over top and then you're still kind of hiding you know your your lady lumps so you're not showing everybody your business so um, this one, again, it's a small, so it has a little bit more fabric than I would probably use to wear it over a Cassie, but you'll, you can perfect it and make it however you want. 
Um, and it's really fun to pattern mix, but I would suggest if you're gonna do it, I would think that doing a pattern in the Cassie and then doing a solid maybe in the, um, in the Curly, and then you can kind of make it versatile because you can flip it with different ones. So the last thing um, that I'm going to show you is gonna be the classic over top of a Curly. So I, this is an extra, extra small. I can wear an extra, extra small all the way up to an extra large. It really just depends. So I tried on a, I think this one was a large. Yes, this is a large. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. And I had it on backwards and then knotted up really high with um, some ripped dirty wear jeans and some wedges and go out with my friends. So here's an extra, extra small classic. I'm gonna put it on backwards. Classics fit pretty true to size as far as tops are concerned, <clears throat> but I wear them backwards for one, the high neckline, and then when you throw on a necklace, I've got this at the, at the longest part, but if you had a necklace that is a little bit higher, then it looks so cute wearing it high up like that. And obviously, again, you'll fix it how you want to wear it, but if you wear it high up like that and then your necklace hits right there, it's very flattering. So let me hide my Cassie again so this doesn't look weird. <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. Okay, so here's your Carly and then your classics over top and then you're gonna take it and I usually try to fluff it up around here and then bunch it up in the front, twist it into a knot. Bear with me. Okay. <clears throat> and then again, you've got a little bit more form fitting. There you go. And then you've got your classic over your over your Carly. Now, if you really want to do yourself in, again, I've got my Cassie on underneath here, so you could <clears throat> tie your Carly up. You got your Cassie over top or your classic over top, and then take yourself a pair of leggings. I'm just gonna pick. He's actually max pretty cute. And throw those on underneath. So that all matches, ironically enough. I literally just grabbed a pair from over here. So, But you could do all of that and put them all together. Everything is so versatile. I would even wear this Cassie. <laughs> Making outfits over here. So that's a couple different hacks um, for Carly's, Sarah's, Joy's, Classics. You can wear them all different ways. You do not have to tie this up. You can leave it however you want. But I just don't think that some people, you know, venture out, which I didn't at first either. And so I wanted to pass along the good fortune and let you guys know that everything that we have, anybody can wear. And you can wear it any way you would like, any way that's going to make you feel comfortable and beautiful. So I hope you all have a blessed day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.